Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today we're doing something never done before. I've never done it outside. Never done it on this channel before and this, what we're doing is making cookies. Not just any cookies, but chocolate chip cookies. Not just any chocolate chip cookie, we're making my dad's cookies. Now I suspect these are very close to the Toll House cookies. As a matter of fact, I know they are but he does add just a little bit of a different twist to it. So really what we got going on in here are two and a half cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of sugar, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Now let's finish the rest. One cup of butter, just two sticks. Throw it down like so. The recipe calls for one teaspoon of baking soda. But I'm actually going to put one and a half in because I want to give them just a little bit extra lift. Call for one. Call for one teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. One, two. Two eggs. Two cups of chocolate chips. I'm actually gonna do one cup of the semi-sweet dark chips. And I'm going to do one cup of the white chocolate chips. Then we're going to throw in a whole thing of walnuts. Right. Let's get these things mixing up. These things have some great consistency. Oh, look at this. Oh, sorry, I gotta try one. I know, big taboo, big taboo. So here's the deal. We're gonna try them in the Pit Boss Smoker first. Now the Pit Boss Smoker is also an oven. So, that said, I do wanna show you guys what these things look like. That looks pretty darn good, I'm thinking. I'm going to take my pan, spray it down a little bit, no biggie. Make a couple cookies, I should probably spray it down. Alright, so the Pit Boss is at 300 right now. And we're going to throw those in just to see how they do. The next one I want to do, same thing, but with the pellet grill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the spray, spray this pan down. I'm going to take my parchment paper and throw it on, and it helps it stick. Do the same thing. So now the pellet grill right now is at 350. Gonna throw it in here. Let them do their thing. Now this is kind of a wild card here. And that's the Cuisinart grill. I want to see what it's at. And right now it's sitting at 309. So I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. It's not quite there yet. But the same idea applies to this. I'm gonna spray down one side. And what I did with this is I only have one side going. Put 
that on for a second. Put her cookies down. Tap it. And we're going to start watching these things. And as soon as they're done, we'll be back. But before we do that, I want to tell you guys a real quick joke. I heard it today on the Bob and Tom show. And it's Ace Cosby's joke of the day. I thought it was great. So here we go. Why didn't the lifeguard save the hippie? Because the hippie was too far out, man. There you go. No, I won't quit my day job. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. At this point, we're at 10 minutes in, and I gotta tell you, the cookies here in the pit boss are looking really good. Hello Grill cookies look really good as well. I'm really actually liking what I see. Now let's check them out on the Cuisinart 360 griddle. So right now, what I'm looking at here on the Cuisinart 360, it doesn't look bad at all, other than that top left hand one is burnt on the bottom. The other three are not. We're at 15 minutes. Now because this one cooks a little slower, it cooks at about 300, I'm going to leave those in for just a few mi minutes more, but I do want to do the Cuisinart first because, I don't know, I'm a little here. Turn it off. Take a look at those cookies. Oh yeah. No, no bueno. That one definitely. Oh, that's not bad. Surprising. Wow. So I do have two cookies here that are crispified. I mean, on the bottom. I'm going to get another piece of parchment paper. There. This is up here. These will make a good paperweight. But we will leave these two on the side try out here in a bit. The next one we're going to do here is from the Pit Boss. Now what I do like about the Pit Boss is it's a little, it's easier to control the temp. Right, you just set it. Actually it's a Z grill, I'm sorry. Pit Boss is over there. But on the pellet grill, it's easier to control. I'll show you what I mean. These cookies on the top look amazing. And on the bottom, even better. That's pretty standard for what we're seeing right now from that one. We're gonna place these up top here. That way we know which ones, which is which. And the next, the last one is from the Pit Boss. Yeah, while it cooks slower, it is very easy to control the temperature on this one. I do want to take a look at the bottom of these. Oh, heck yeah. These look great. The smell is amazing, by the way. Man, let me show you. I'll give you an up close on these. They look amazing. Look at that. We did cookies on Cuisinart, the Z Grill pellet smoker, and the Pit Box. And now it's time to try them. Before I do that, I get my trusty vodka and Diet 7 Up. We're going to try Cuisinart first. Bottom looks good, top looks good. Bottom's crunchy, but the rest of it is smooth. I mean, it is just ooey gooey goodness, man. Ooey gooey goodness. I don't know if you can see that or not, but wow. Good. The next one from the Z Grill. Cleanse palette. Try it out. 
That's spot on. Bottom looks great. Let's see if we can get some ooey gooey goodness going on. Mm. Ah, maybe a little dry. Still, loads of flavor. Time for the pit boss. Bottom looks good. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. That's the bomb. Look at the bottom. Close up at the bottom. See if we can get some goodness out of that. Oh. Mm. Wow. I have to say, that makes a damn good cookie. That makes a damn good cookie. And that does all right. In a pinch, you could use that. So anyhow, going forward, I have enough for two more batches of cookies. I'm gonna do another one in here, and I'm gonna do another one in there. There you go, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. This was really fun. I love this experiment. Just to see if you could really do it. You know me, I love to push the boundaries a little bit. I'm definitely gonna recommend, if you're gonna cook cookies outdoor, do it in like a pit boss smoker slash oven. Give your pellet smoker a shot as well. I use apple wood in this, so actually I don't know if it contributed to the flavor or not, but it was really good. Don't worry about a regular grill. If it were me. All right guys, thanks again for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell, comment, share. You know we dig it guys. All right, I hope everybody's safe. We have National Cookie Day coming up, by the way. It is May 15th, and it's actually National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. Already done this one, though, so we're good. We got it covered. Just a little uh, preemptive strike here. All right, guys, remember the dude abides this time with chocolate chip cookies. Talk to you later, guys. Stay safe.